educate yourself the right way by documentation coming from a validated manufacturer. Once again, they actually sell both servos and steppers so that you know exactly what you're purchasing for your application. Um, nothing here should be smoke and mirrors and should be based on end user opinion. It should be based on fact and then you guys then decide how you want to take your hard earned money and spend it. I can tell you truthfully, I've done this well over a decade online. I can easily carry servos, but for 95% of my clients' applications, they will not see a difference. And if anyone's ever spoken to me, you can ask them yourselves. I'll tell them that. I don't carry uh, servos unless they are directly requested or I'm doing a consultation, mainly because of the complexity of older servos. And then on top of that, what you can achieve with stepper motors. And this is why we see predominantly stepper motors being used with 3D printers. As a matter of fact, I don't know many, if any, 3D printers that are using servos because honestly, there's not a tremendous benefit as there once was.